Porsche admit the GT4's gearbox is wrong, 992 GT3 being hustled around the ring, and a zero mile 991-935 going under the hammer next month. Hello and welcome to the latest round of Porsche news from your favorite Porsche channel, Ren11. Up first, the gent in charge of the 911 and 718, Frank Stefan Walliser, has stated that the 718 GT4 has the wrong gearbox for the cars and road going needs. You're probably thinking, why? It's a manual. Save all the manuals. And whilst it's great that the car has a clutch pedal and six cogs, the gears are longer than War and Peace being read out loud by a five-year-old. The long gears may work for track work, but with the majority of the GT4 staying on regular roads, it means that the gears wouldn't get the use that they should, perhaps only needing to stay in second gear. What would be added to the GT4 to get more out of the engine? Wallace has stated, we would have loved to have seen that, the gearing, a little bit shorter, but technically there was no way. We have an answer, which will come later this year, and that's very nice then. What is the answer he speaks of? Well, we know the Porsche have a breadth of parts to work off the shelf. Will we see that seven speed manual found in the 911 or will we see an option of PDK? Time will tell, but you can be sure that it will be an incredibly engaging drive either way. We will ensure to keep you in the loop with whatever Wallace and the board decide. Next up, another week, another sighting on the Nürburgring. This time, some video of the excellent looking and sounding 992 GT3 being pushed around Green Hell. Seeing as we saw the R version last week, it's safe to say we're gonna be seeing this release sooner rather than later. Information is thin on the ground, but many sources say it will carry the 510 wild horses from the 991 Speedster. Andreas Prioninja, Andreas Prioninja, Andreas. Head honcho of Porsche's GT division has said this engine will feature in many more cars for the future, which means it's gonna make this 92 GT3 sing. Thanks to Automotive Mike for the videos. Please watch his channel, details below. Lastly, the 991 reimagining of the 935 was a huge hit last year as all 77 cars were sold pretty quickly. However, after a year of being released, one is coming up for auction next month with RM Sotheby. Number two of the 77 is Martini liveried and has zero miles on the clock. Yes, zero. Nothing, nada, naught, nil bois. With eternal hope, the next owner will be able to bed the motor in and take it on as many track days as possible. Or, you know, lend it to me, I'll have a go. But please use it. Fancy a punt yourself? RM Sotheby's are expecting it to go for somewhere between 1.275 and 1.375 million euros. Bear in mind, it's number two of 77 cars means that's low balling. If previous experience suggests anything, prepare to pay much more. The auction itself closes on June 11th. Direct link? Below. Thank you all for watching Ren11 News this week. Coming next on the Ren11 YouTube channel, pre recorded live interviews with key people from the Porsche community every Tuesday. Those live interviews, though, are recorded on Instagram Live. So find us on Instagram at Ren11 and give us a follow to watch them when they're fresh, full, and uncut. We will see you next Saturday for more Porsche news. So remember to subscribe and click that bell button to be notified of the next video. Be safe, be good, much love, folks.